fire, one of the most terrifying, destructive and irresistible forces known to man, capable in an instant of turning solids to liquids, liquids to vapors and gases, dark to light, light to death. And how ironic it is that from the Earth's great geological fire over millions of years should have come a substance to resist and tame this force. The paradoxical mineral, asbestos. Even the name is a paradox. Asbestos, the unquenchable rock that burns and cannot be extinguished. What other substance has a name which signifies the opposite of its most important property? What other rock has been considered to be a vegetable substance? What other rock could have been passed off as the skin of the salamander? Of what other rock could it have been believed that it derived its qualities from the action of the sun and the proximity of serpents? What other rock has formed the funeral robes of emperors, the lampwicks of the Vestal Virgins? been called undefilable, stone flax, the woolly stone, the fine hair of gold. No ordinary rock, no single rock indeed, but a group of related minerals with characteristics in common, but in varying degrees. A substance which resolves easily into fibers, soft to the touch, often silky and endlessly divisible it seems certainly beyond the resolving capacity of the human eye. Fibres so fine that care must be taken to avoid inhaling them. The asbestos fibre, its diameter one thousandth that of a human hair. Its tensile strength greater than that of steel. From the incandescent accidents of a planet's birth, a family of minerals which can resist heat, withstand acids, absorb sound, insulate electricity, and subdivide into fibers of astonishing fineness and immense tensile strength. Fibers which can be graded into different lengths to suit a thousand different purposes. One of the earliest known uses of asbestos was in heat-resisting textiles. The Emperor Charlemagne performed a similar trick with an asbestos cloth. Asbestos with its strangely flexible fibers can be carded like wool or cotton and spun into yarn. The yarn can be plaited or braided or woven into heat-resistant cloth. Look where you will in the modern world. The chances are you'll find asbestos coping with the pressures that beset us, ironing out the problems, and usually doing it unobtrusively, like this cloth on a laundry roller, or this packing in a steam valve. Pipelines retain their heat protected by asbestos. And oil heaters depend on asbestos wicks. But mainly, asbestos weaves protection from heat and flame. Where we work. For the welder. steel worker, for the glass worker,
and for the firefighter. where we work and where we play. Asbestos gives strength as well as safety. The short, fine, flexible fibers of this strange material are sufficiently versatile to mix with cement in a liquid state. And the result, asbestos cement, is a substance easy to handle easy to mold, strong, corrosion resistant, and non-combustible. It's typical of the versatility of asbestos that in this form it is used not so much for its heat resisting qualities as for its lightness and strength. Indeed, asbestos cement shines in many situations where heat resistance is no problem at all keeping our feet dry by supporting riverbanks with sheeting that will not corrode or rot. Cladding airy buildings against the never quite spotless air. Or just throwing a great, light, simple and inexpensive cover, a non-combustible cover, of course, over a warehouse. Asbestos cement, like all asbestos products, meets and often surpasses every relevant standard, building regulation, or code of practice. Of course, asbestos has what you might call its underground uses too, serious and important uses, which never quite appeared in the limelight, but take a multitude of forms. Rolled onto a mandrel, asbestos cement can form a pipe. Asbestos cement pipes, light and strong, non-conductive of electricity, corrosion resistant, needing no maintenance, pipes to protect telephone and power cables, or simple pipes to get the rain off your roof. Pipes to carry water, pipes for drainage and sewage. Pipes of all kinds are also insulated and protected by asbestos. This versatile substance can even be applied in liquid form. It combats condensation. Its acoustic qualities almost rival its ability to insulate from heat. And the ability to spray it on an existing building must have saved many a headache. Asbestos, the rock that drowns noise. Asbestos, in combination with lime, compressed and sealed into standard boards of varying size, thickness and density. Asbestos board ceiling panels protecting international ears from the din of their transport. Or housewives from the tramp of their own weary feet, the squeak of supermarket trolleys, the clash of cans and ringing of cash registers, the complaints of irritated offspring. Asbestos working to protect our frayed good humour. Asbestos at sea, for the protection of people and cargo, as insulating board, unobtrusive, but virtually obligatory nowadays, to prevent the spread of fire in one of the most isolated and therefore vulnerable forms of habitation.
And again, soundproofing, insulating. Easy to fit when molded. Easy to work in the form of boarding. As easy as wood to cut, plane, drill, nail, screw, chamfer. Homogenous and non-splintering. Light, easily joined and sealed. Life-saving, should the need arise, because it keeps fire in as well as out. Gives time when it's most needed. Home again. These metal plates are thermocouples to record the temperature in a house-burning experiment, which demonstrated how asbestos building materials can avert tragedy in the event of a fire. Used judiciously, you can't make the whole house of it, asbestos can give time for help to arrive. Again, containing the blaze, cutting down the circulation of air, protecting more combustible materials. Even when a fire takes hold, and wise men stand clear, and the plumbing runs molten, even then, asbestos ceiling panels will confine the blaze to one storey. The shattered glass from the windows will have melted on what remains of the floors before the asbestos finally surrenders and fire floods the whole building. Asbestos may not stop a house burning down, but it delays it long enough to make sure there are no human beings in the ashes. Asbestos is also used to reinforce plastics. In this form you find it everywhere, exploiting the strange qualities we have already seen. Their strength, so that an asbestos bearing can replace a metal bearing five times its weight in circumstances where precision really counts. Their heat resistance so that they can shield less talented materials. Their moisture resistance and stability so that they do not distort under difficult conditions. They're low coefficient of friction, so that they enhance rather than retard the action of a lubricant. In uses like these, Asbestos is an anti-friction material. Asbestos is also used to create friction. Wherever there is rapid movement and the need to control and curb that movement, there's a place for asbestos, as this test shows. Suppose every time you brake your car, this happens. And in traffic, you're braking all the time. The streets would be like shooting galleries. So it's nice to know, isn't it, that wherever you drive, asbestos brake linings go with you to make sure that every time you have to stop, you stop. And to start, you need clutch facings, again asbestos. Wherever a situation arises in which friction has to be handled quickly and dexterously, where the results are highly critical with no allowance for failure, you're sure to find asbestos. Asbestos for a smooth ride. And now, an experiment taking the asbestos out of an ordinary car. See what happens. The battery, like many others, depends on asbestos for its resistance to the acid that it contains. No asbestos, and soon, no battery. The engine gaskets depend entirely on asbestos, 
take them away, and the engine begins quietly, or not so quietly, to fall apart. And remember the carburetor. Take away its heat-proof sealing gaskets and back. Nothing to do now but stop. If you can. Oh dear. No asbestos. No brakes. Most of us don't notice asbestos very much. Why should we? Asbestos chooses to be anonymous. But things get pretty hot without it. That's why asbestos. <laughs>